Israel is set to kick off the year 2024 with another significant mission following its success with Chandrayaan-3. On the 1st of January, the Indian Space Research Organization will launch the dedicated satellite to study black holes. The 25-hour countdown commenced on Sunday for the liftoff scheduled at 9.10 a.m. from the first launch pad located about 135 kilometers east of Chennai. Uh, sir, help us understand why this this launch tomorrow is significant. Of course, uh, you know, ISRO is going to be ringing in the new year 2024 with this launch. But why is it important? Help us understand its aims and objectives. Yeah, actually, first of all, Happy New Year to you all and your viewers. And ISRO is really giving a great gift uh, for India by tomorrow's uh, mission. Actually, now, you know, ISRO is on the verge of a groundbreaking leap in space, I would say. And uh, it is set to revolutionize X-ray astronomy. Uh, first, let me tell you that, uh, you know, there are uh, stars of different category. Our sun is com that comes under smaller category. There are stars uh, 10 times bigger than the sun. And uh, the bigger the sun... When, uh, you know, they die earlier than the smaller suns, okay? That is, of course, when I say earlier, it is in the millions of years' time. And when these uh, big uh, stars, they die out, that happens because of they exhaust their nuclear fuel. Nuclear fuel is nothing but the hydrogen atoms fusion. When two atoms of hydrogen, they fuse together, then there is a tremendous energy is created along with temperature and heat. And that heat, like in our sun and the light, under the great pressure comes towards the outer layers. And then a photosphere is formed and which gives the earth its light and temperature, heat from the sun. So now this is the nuclear fuel, now which keeps the stars burning and running. When the nuclear fuel gets exhausted, then the big stars, they because of their pressure inside is uh, lost, they collapse. The weight is so much, gravity is so much that they collapse under their own weight and they are formed into black holes or neutron stars. Okay, that is the first thing. Now, these uh, black holes mm. and neutron stars are very bright uh, sources of X-ray. And because they are huge stars, you know, and there, uh, there are actually uh, spectroscopy, our uh, uh, polarimetric uh, uh, instrument, on uh, ExpoSat is set to measure the X-ray emission from the neutron stars and you know, the surrounding area of the black hole. The black holes, because of their huge gravity, they cannot emit anything. Okay, it only goes one inside mm. them. Nothing comes okay. out, right? But the surrounding areas of the black holes, there is a very strong magnetic field. And jets of uh, charged particles like elect electrons and protons, they are emitted. And they are emitted mostly in uh, X-ray spectrum. So that is one source which uh, mm. our ExpoSat instrument is going to measure. Another one is, I said, uh, neutron stars. So neutron stars, definitely they mm. uh, emit uh, X-rays, and uh, I want to mention that uh, the novelty part of uh, this our mission is mm. to explore the polarization of the bright X-ray sources. Polarization is nothing but the orientation of the light which is coming out from the celestial objects, and that helps us to give. Uh, information about the radiation mechanism and the geometry of celestial sources. And uh, internationally, 
this study hmm. of x-ray polarization is gaining a lot of importance this we can uh, actually underline by saying that uh, america's uh, nasa's uh, one uh, uh, mission was launched in 2021 that also was uh, basically containing a polarimeter x-ray polarimeter our india's tomorrow's mission mm. will be the first mission dedicated to the polarimetric uh, aspect and world's second mission in this regard 